Kia ora koutou katoa, e kia ora ana koutou katoa toa. Nau mai ki te motu a tāhua nei, ora rotonga. Welcome to Cam Sky here, from the beautiful island of Rarotonga. This is just a tropical version of home. There's Whanauna Tanga and Kaitahi all around this island, and there's this lovely little place where that's all going to come together. I can't wait to take you there. E hare a ke nei, he tapataera kuki aruna. There's a theme going here that everything on this table behind us is grown locally. Check this to show whanau. Doesn't it look completely stunning? I was a bit fucking my putty my one up there. Kinga ma kete tato, haere ae kimi kai. E hua no nga hoe fa, namu namu wa haramai te pai. Kem's kai haramai te pai. I haere ake nai i tēnei wiki ko te hōtaka whakamutunga. A, kei te taha tai o Rarotonga tātou, kei te wahi kai o Coastal Kitchens. Te wahi rere hua nei, te tauranga mō tētahi pō, Foodies Tapas. He mea whakahare a Jaywin Makei. So Jaywin, you got a beautiful place here, beautiful house. Did you make it yourself? Um, the new part we did, the kitchen, the, the coastal kitchen, which is two 40-foot containers with a bit of concrete in the middle, so yes. that's um, something new that's happened this year. The original house is what you can see there is blue with a rectangle and had the tiniest kitchen, and I actually quite like cooking and we entertain a lot and it wasn't that enjoyable in a small kitchen, so I thought let's, let's go for something big and something that we can use as a business. So the idea is that people will come and have their functions here, special events, um, the day before or the day after a wedding, or significant birthdays, those sorts of things. And we're also looking to do a cooking school okay. where we go and pick up tourists half a dozen at a time, take them shopping, and get some local produce, local fish, and come back, cook it up, show them how it's done, give them the recipes, have lunch, and then drop them back at their accommodation. Well, that's, so that's awesome. In a nutshell, what we're hoping to do, yes. No, I'm pretty excited we've got a tapas evening on tonight. Oh. Tapas is something that you'll generally see in, in Spain or something like that. I can just tell that the food's starting to evolve here in Rarotonga. Yes, yes. Uh, tapas is a relatively new concept. When I was inviting people for this evening, there were a few I had to explain what tapas is. Because usually when you invite people, they want to bring heaps and heaps of food and there's just food for Africa. And then everyone you know, sort of gets full very quickly. Um, without being able to sample all the different delicacies. So the people coming tonight have little specialty dishes that they prepare and I've asked them to do sort of in smaller quantities where we can just nibble and, uh, but have substantial nibbles so, we, so no one goes away hungry. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a sashimi, so I've got some fresh as wahoo which was caught about three hours ago. Awesome. And then I've got a little secret sauce. Everyone's got their own secret sauces. But yeah, I've, I've got my own one, so it uh, won't be quite so secret in a little while though, will it? E taonga tonu ngā ki nā ki muna. Well, j I can't wait to taste the secret to your sauce and hopefully share my dish with you guys too. I'm looking forward to trying that wahoo. I've never tried wahoo before. Mm. And, and you guys just catch it in your backyard over here. So I've used uh, cabbage instead of rice, just a variation that most people, well, often people do rice instead. Um, so would you like to help me? Yep. Slice sure. it all up. You can just so slice it around. Thin, yeah. yeah, relatively thin. So you, you show me and then I'll follow suit. Okay. So you just cut it relatively thin, not not so thin that you can see through it, but, but thin enough not to be too chunky when you pick it up with your fork or chopsticks. Kaore e kitia nui tia te wahu i ngā wai o Aotearoa. He ika paru tēnei, no reira, he ika hau tēnei ki oku pūkenga tāo kai. Ka taia te tarakihi, te tūna, te raumāri e rānei ki te tāo i tauake tāira. Ko oh, whānau, fish that fresh, it's going to taste good anyway. Uh, it's caught a couple of hours ago. Oh yeah, garlic just straight over the top like that. Garlic and ginger. Yep. Fresh ginger that we grow here. And then to complement it, I've also got some 
This is a lovely purple one, it's quite moist. And I boil that up with water, salt, and a bit of butter to stop it from sticking. Would you like to see my sauce? Yep. Yeah. It's quite a unique coloured uh, lime there. Yeah. yeah, it's a cross between sort of a lime and a mandarin. It, it has a more of a sweet taste mm -hmm. to it. Mm. And, um, being so close to the sea, limes and citrus don't grow that well here, okay. but these ones do, so yeah. they're just from our tree out the back. So my secret ingredient is rocket fuel. <laughs> rocket fuel, never heard of it. Lone Star. It's on every table in Lone Star in the little glass bottles. Okay. And that's, uh, that provides the base. You put a bit of that in. And then this mustard, which is a, it's a spicy brown mustard, Gildan's mustard, which I actually haven't seen in New Zealand. But Tahitians are very fond of it, so just squeeze a dollop of that in. Then our ginger and our garlic. And then I just squeeze some of these in. Kaore i tu atu i te ika hou. You want quite a bit in there too, eh? Yeah. We never know how much we're going to need. Is that a just... soy one? Yep, but this is just a plain soy. Plain dark soy? Well, yeah, it's a mushroom dark soy, but it, oh, it doesn't yeah. really matter which soy it is. And some olive oil. Which oh, he reka rawa atu te kakara o te mate te me te raima. Oh, it's in reka te kakara o te kinaki. You know, it's beautiful smelling sauce. Mm. Quite a few people have their own special sauces here, variations, and some are thicker than others. Mine's sort of medium, and then it's just a matter of a... So Have a before anyone um, catches us, we're going to get in there and have a try before they get here. Tāria kia kite tātou i te hua. I'm going to use the spring to use. I'm going to use the spring to use the spring. Papai? Mmm. Very delicious. Nice and zingy. Even their, their fish. It just got melts, a, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got a flavour of its own. That sauce is pung quite pungent, not subtle in any way. When you put it in your mouth, it's really explosive in flavour. And I think, and that, and that lime, you know, you're getting that hit of lime at the end of there. It's just beautiful. But now I know what's in their secret sauce. Now I've got that and put it in the bank in there. Might use it another day. Delicious though. But you could have their sauce with anything, really, eh? Me tere mahi a hau kei te hara mai ngā manu hiri o Jay Wynn. He pai noa iho. Kā reka rawa atu. Ko i rā te tūmanako. Just looking at the food, I'm blown away and I'm a little bit whakamā about putting my dish up there. Cam's Kai, Cam's Kai, Hara Mai Te Pai. Cam's Kai, Hara Mai Te Pai. Kei te whare a tāhua o Coastal Kitchen, mātou i tēnei rā kei te motu o Rarotonga, i te taha o Jaywin. A, i hākari tapa kei te haere, ko ngā manu hiri kei te hari mai a rātou kai whakahirahira. A, Kei te whakapau kaha a hau ki a hewa mai tēnei hunga mātanga. Ki aku ika i ahu mai i Venus. A, e kai taunga ngō ngā hui hui ngā whānau o tērā wahi. So welcome back. Jaywan's just finishing up her dish. Uh, slicing up some purple taro. I'm going to get cracking on mine. So we've got our fish here. I've gone and whacked the guts out of those because nobody likes eating guts and gills and scales and all of that. So we clean them up. Now I'm just going to hit it with a bit of olive oil. Ko ngā ika iti nei, he pai mō nā tapa nei. Now I, I hold my thumb over the top so it's just not all gushing out and going all over j ones bench here. So I'm just going to... 
Use my thumb to slow down the flow of the oil. Faka mahana tia te umu ki te pā mahana, rua rau ki a reri ai mo te tunu mo te whā ki te ono miniti. So while those are in there, I'm going to get cracking on some onions. Also, I've got here, I've got some raisins in here. They're soaking in some white wine. Good old savvy. Trying to soak up their wine flavour. Got some pine nuts here. Simple dish. We're going to hit it with some balsamic, white balsamic. So we're just trying to marinate those flavours into their fish. Ngā pō kai tapa, he hui ngā pai hei tuari whakaaro kai. See our guests are showing up, so hopefully this won't take too long. So just want to go with a fine slice. So what we're going to do, we're going to sweat those onions down in a pan. What, what's going to happen there is those onions are going to cook out sweeter because we need that sweetness to counterbalance with our vinegar. It's gonna hit it with a bit of well. Remember, season every element. Let's fry them off. So onions are gonna take about 12, 12 minutes. Eight to twelve minutes to soften up, get sweeter, and then we can add our balsamic, our raisins, our pine nuts, and then we'll chuck it all together, throw it in the fridge to marinate. Once it's cool, serve it with a nice crusty bread. Hopefully. ika. <laughs> Ingari kia tūpato kai wera, he poto no iho te wātao. Now, Fano, what I've done is I've gone and um, emptied our wine out of these uh, raisins. We just want the flavour pumped into those raisins. We don't really need the rest of it. So I'm just going to... Get our raisins into there. Followed by our pine nuts. Kororitia. Oh, looking good, farming. I can take a whiff of that now that the, the vinegar has been cooked out, so it's not as sharp. We want a little bit of sharpness there, but we're going to get a lot of sweetness too from our raisins, our onions. And the waiho keep the taha, let that cool down a little bit, and we'll carry on layering our, our dish. So I'm just going to top and ta tail these bad boys into here. Marae styling. He rawe te ahua o ngā ika hei whakarauru. A he tika anō hoki kia rite te ranu i ngā namu namu rā ki roto i te ika. A paria ka pūra ki roto i te pakatio kia mau ai ngā namu namu rā. You never have too much olive oil. Mm. 
Kia mutu te wā whakatā, ka tīmata tā tātou hākari. A, he paira wātu te āhua o ngā kai. Kei te hika kāu, ki te whakaharatau i ngā kai, kua haria mai i ngā tāngata katoa. Kams kai, kams kai, hara mai te pai. Kams kai, hara mai te pai. Kei te whare kai o Coastal Kitchen mātou kei te pō tapa. A, kei te tū taki-taki au ki te tahi ropu kai ngākau ki ngā āhua tanga kato o te kai. A rā, ko Cook Island Foodies. Kua hari mai rātou i a rātou kai whakahirahira hei kai mā tātou. Kei te whakapau kaha a hau ki a hiamo mai rātou ki aku ika Venetian. Wow, kia ora na everybody. Thank you so much for coming to Cam's uh, Tapas this evening. Um, I know Tapas was a kind of new concept for everyone where we had finger food as opposed to great big main dishes. And it's my absolute delight to introduce you to Cam from Cam's Kai. I've had um, the pleasure of spending the last few hours with him and uh, he's, uh, he's a fantastic guy all the way from Putararu uh, and now cooking all these amazing treats on his uh, television series on Māori TV in New Zealand. And uh, maybe you would like to say a few words, have a little kōrero? Yeah, I'd just like to you know, thank everybody for coming along and, and allowing me to be part of this. Um, just looking at the food, I'm blown away and I'm a little bit fucking mad about putting my dish up there. <laughs> but, um, hey, wait, you know, we'll, we'll, I'd love to You'll get, get over around it. there. Yeah, <laughs> get around there and try them all. And, so, yep. Well, before we do get a chance to try them all, um, ask Nikki if she'd um, bless our kai for us this evening, please. Mm. Thank you, Martha. Um, Kapure tatato kai. Te atua a ka meita ki meiko i te kei tā mātou kākei, ki a riro te reira i a ka mātūtu i tō mātou kōpapa, ka reka tō mātou ora anga wairua, nā au te reira e ākono mai. Kua mutu te karakia, a kua tai ki te wā e whakahara tautia ngā kai. Kei te hi ka kaa hau ki ngā mahi kei te haere. Namu namu wa. Oh, this looks amazing. What is it? It's octopus. Okay. And usually in the Cook Islands we cook octopus with a lot of coconut cream. Mm. But this is a totally different dish in that it has no absolutely no coconut cream in it, and it has been um, marinated in olive oil after being cooked overnight. Eke, the eke teia, caught locally. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is delicious. Mm. Surprisingly tender. Mm. You know, I've had um, octopus a few times before and it's quite tough. But I, I wouldn't. It doesn't. To get the tenderness, you let it. <coughs> excuse me. You let it steep in its own sauces afterwards. After mm. it's been cooked, you let it cool down in its sauce and the water. Then it becomes nice and soft. Nice soft tender. You get the true flavour of that octopus coming out. It's not overpowering the octopus, you know. So I love it. So let me have a tux. What, what's in there, So the dish itself uh, uh, consists of 100 percent local ingredients. We have on the base there uh, the local taro, um, which basically I just um, boil and then lightly deep fry. Uh, above the uh, taro we have um, the local broadbill fish that's caught out just outside the reef there. So um, what I've done with the broadbill is 
a slightly um, crusted it in the occasion. Um, and then just pan seared it very quickly. Uh, Ruko itself is the the leaf of the taro. So basically we use everything of the taro, so the base of the taro as well as the leaves. And what I basically do is I boil it down um, and then I prepare my onions, garlic, and also uh, um, uh, ginger, chilies, coconut cream, and, um, and, and a little touch of curry there, just to spice it up a little bit. Um, and then on top of that, we have our local pulpo salsa, which is obviously pulpo from here, which I basically just use with coriander, um, sweet chili, salt, pepper, a little bit of lime juice, and basically, yeah, just a nice little canapé with all the local flavours which complement each other. So. There's a theme going here that everything on this table behind us is grown locally, while it has to be so far away from anywhere else, you know? But this is, they've just developed their own flavours. These are sensational. Stunning funnel. So just getting all the flavours of the local flavours, and that's what we're concentrating on with local flavours. So individually, if you were to try them, you'd, you'd notice all the different flavours a lot better, but putting them all together just complements each other, you know? So. Perfect balance. Great balance in there, yeah. That's delicious, Farmer. I think he's got it pretty lucky over here. Yeah. Probably luckier than I got it at home mm. in Putaruru. We don't see this kind of kai where I'm from. Well, let's see. We, there's another dish that's caught my attention. It's another, what we call a feke, but we call it eke. Eke, why did I make this dish? Because it's it's cheap kai, it's nobody your family can can get hungry, it's very cheap, cost doesn't cost. You just pick the coconuts off the ground, you go down the beach and get your koiti, and you just go into the garden or go into auntie uncle's garden, pick all the herbs and put it in there. Kapai, it's a kai. I, I want to have a try. Free no. air. Enjoy. Yeah. Because Cameron, it's the mm. same kai. You know, what I made today is what I make at home. We make that today, we eat at home. Like, you don't need anything else, you know? I don't need to go to the shop to buy anything, uh, Cameron. You can use your kaimoana. So I get the eke kaimoana and come home and get the coconut. We use coconuts in different forms and ways of making our kai. Yeah. yeah. And what that's what that is. Bit of chili. Absolutely, so. yes. i tell you. There's nothing fermenting and tasting about it. Uh -huh. It's absolutely delicious. It is not because I didn't put too much. Sometimes oh, yeah. if you put too much koiti in it, you spoil it. Okay. You can't eat it. It's because we leave it out, we don't put it in the fridge. Kua whakahara tau tianga namu namu wa taunga. Inai anei, māku te whakarauraui ngā kai kua tāwai e au. Well guys, uh, this is my dish, it's a Venetian dish. Have a try and tell me what you think. It's about eating all of those elements together. It's about balance, combination of flavour. And I like using these little fish because you can eat bones and all, you know? Mm. I love that concept of um, what you exactly just said then, is eating the bones, you know? It's food. Mm. And part of the food is not getting our fillage to part of the fish. This is how we used to eat before, the bones and all. And it's all good for you. Mm. And I love that concept of it. And it's something that you don't see very often anymore. And I think it's, this is fantastic. It's really great, really tasty. It's got like a bit of sweetness and um, yeah, it's really good. Thank you. No pork. Just use your hands. Delicious. And there's nothing like eating with your fingers, you know? <laughs> nothing like it anywhere in the world, but here in the Cook Islands, as we do every day, is eat with our hands. Well, guys, thank God they like that dish. I was, I was a bit fucking my, putting my one up there with, with what I was eating earlier today. But hey, that's how we roll. That's Cam's guy, Haramai Te Pai. Mm.
が負けてたと入れ合い、平気未開。平和の中を得た、なむなむは。負け目ファカティカ、キャリーテマイエヒカハラマイテパイ。ケムスカイハラマイテパイ。ハラマイテパイ。ケムスカイハラマイテパイ。